Because the Bible says that God made a helper. He made someone comparable to him. Not someone under, someone comparable to him. But it took God to put Adam to sleep in order for him to wake up to see the value. So I want to encourage, especially those that are not married, you know, if even if people around you don't see your value, does not mean that you're not valuable. The top of a mountain, the elevated object, the end of an anchor, honorable, distinct woman, crown, reward, honor, splendor, dignity, completion, accomplishment, crown. Those are all meanings of crown. So it says a virtuous woman is honorable, reward, splendor, dignity, completion, accomplishment, a crown, an ornament. If, if you will go with me, then I will go. If you will not go with me, I will not go. That's a man. That was a general. And he said, if you, Deborah, are not going, mm, I will sit right here. We will die here together. But if you go, that means there was something inside of her. There was something that beyond the general status, it says, this woman I will follow. She didn't have a sword. She didn't have anything. She didn't have, you know, she was not fight. She was not physically in the front. But she was leading an army. So woman, I ask again, what has God put in you? It look as if after the wedding, where are you going? It look as if there's no place for me. It look as if the world have rejected me. Because why? Some people look at me and they say, oh, you are marrying a poor man. You are marrying a man that does not have vision. You are marrying a man that does not know where he's going. But I'm thanking God this morning. Like I tell my children every time. I say I can decide to stand up today. And I say I'm going to US. I can decide I'm standing up today. I'm going to Canada. I can decide I'm standing up today. I'm going to UK. Because why? All my passport is filled up with visa. So I can stand up and go to any country I have choose to go to. Because why? The Lord has made it so. To speak a command that every single person in this place, by faith, you have been given the grace of God, the goodness of God. There's no situation that you cannot handle. There is no fire that you cannot walk through. There is no man that cannot change in your presence. Because why? Because you carry the grace of God. God has eyes and it knows how to see the goodness in people. It knows how to bring out the best. When his presence is working through you, you know how to attract good things. You know how to stand gracious. You know how to be charming. You know how to show love. You know how to be kind. You know how to show peace when there's war. You know your speech is seasoned with grace so you know how to talk amen and this is the gift that we've been given through the grace of our lord jesus christ amen so i'm going to share about the very first total men experience program i attended in 2015 at that time i was in a very low you know state in my life i'd gone through a very traumatic experience i'd lost my self-worth I lost my self-confidence, I've lost my voice by reason of some of the things that had happened to me. And so I went for that program. I'm, I'm Mama Oli David's younger sister. I went for that program in Ibadan. And one of the ministers was ministering from the book of Genesis 38, the story of Tama. And I'd never heard that story before. That was the very first time. Judah took Tama as his daughter-in-law for his first son or and the Bible recorded that because Or was evil, God killed him. That was the way she said it. And then Judah took Tamar and gave to the younger brother. And because he did not want to raise seed for the younger brother, the Bible recorded that he was also killed because he was evil. And the minister, you know, where I was sitting, she just pointed exactly what, and said, you, 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 I don't know what name you have been called. I don't know what label they have been. She said, it's broken today in the name of Jesus. 
and it was as if, you know, I came to myself because I'd been in a situation, my husband had taken me to a church where they had labeled me all sorts of names and because of that, I had become a shadow of myself and I got up from that meeting, I said, it's over. I'm not going to that church again. I'm going back to the church that has always been attending and I went back to that church. And as I got there, I joined the prayer department. I started serving God diligently. So before then, I had worked in an organization for about 14 years and I had to leave. And then for about eight years, I was working with my husband. We were trying to market. But at that time, the business was grounded. I'd been out of work for eight years. It was a depressed economy. I was over 50, so I felt I can't get a job again. So I was in church one day and the man of God was ministering and he said, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And I was reprogrammed with that word. And I knew that, yes, I can still get a job. So I got in touch with my mama, my big sister, in whom I'm well pleased. I said, I'm looking for a job. Other people that I told before, they say, are you looking for a job? How old are you that you are looking for? Is this depressing? Come on. Mama said, put your CV together. Then she gave me some contacts and I sent, you know, my CV out. Lo and behold, I worked in an organization for 14 years. I'm a pharmacist, but I've not worked in a hospital for almost over a decade. I've not worked in hospitals at that time. And by the special mercy of God, the contact that Mama gave me, I was able to get a job as chief pharmacist in a hospital. And that's not all. That is not all. Um, that I got a chief pharmacist, that was in 2016 just one year after I attended that program. And then to the, glo to the glory of God, I've been promoted twice, assistant director, and now I'm deputy director, pharmaceutical services. Praise the Lord. And that's not all. In 2017, 2017, the total men experience in Lekki, Lagos. So I was in the audience, just like you're in the audience now, and mama was probably, she said, this year you will build. I said, it's I receive it in the name of Jesus. And at that time, I wasn't thinking of you. It was like, ah, I have a job. Let me just enjoy myself. And you know, and if I just receive that testimony. To the glory of God, I'm building. I worked in an organization for 14 years, a multinational. I did not buy one brick of cement. I saw a one, one bag of cement. And lo and behold, as a civil servant, God is building for me. I want to encourage you. The Total Woman Experience is not an ordinary program. It's not a program that you just attend and your life will not be transformed. Whatever you receive today, hold on to it. Work on it. And as you work on it, you will experience transformation in every area of your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I have come with great expectation today because I know that uh, after today, another mighty testimony will land in the name of Jesus. I'm Mrs. Mensah. My name is Anna Damia. My name is Sir Precious Ayam. My name is Vera Oris. Rosemary Guilty Diego. I'm Emmanuel. Fola Ibolu Dayo. David. My name is I, Lawson Riaco. One of the speakers said, when you don't know your value, men will disvalue you. And that thought is ministered to me. And to the glory of God, I know my words now as a daughter of Zion. The redeem of the Lord, saved by grace, washed in His blood, and I'll begin to walk in that awareness to the glory of His name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Learn so much. It has been a blessing to me so far, so far. Because I'm privileged to be here, and I'm privileged to be a particular. Um, firstly, uh, one of the things I learned is one to be submissive to the Holy Spirit. 
because without the Holy Spirit, we are helpless. And because the Holy Spirit is the ultimate teacher, is the one who can teach us and guide us to enable us to last long in our man I was blessed by the word. Now I know my words. I know that I'm precious, I'm valuable, and I put myself in the place that no one will be valuable. I receive another anointing, the blessings of God, and I know that the prophecy will come to manifest and fulfill. Uh, last year when I attended your program in Lekki, I faced two or three challenges. But after the prayer of man of God, I picked something that there will be a new change. When I got home, I see miracle. And the Lord did it. And that is the reason I praise God. That is the reason the testimony fill my mouth today. I give thanks to the Lord because God is always faithful. And he keeps to his promises. I bless the name of that. I was so blessed today by the message, the valuable woman. This was amazing. Knowing my value and knowing that I should not accept less and I should know my worth. So I'm really grateful. I was fully blessed today by the message. That one thing I'm taking home today is that I should be able to value, place value on myself. I shouldn't allow anybody to keep me around. I shouldn't even allow myself to devalue me. So I need to stand up and face what God has about, talked about me. Whatever God says about me is what I should follow, not what he is saying, but what God says. And that's us. Thank you. What triggered my is your preaching. Your ministry was perfect. In fact, your drama expert. And how you shook your body to your husband, yeah. Your husband got to know that, yes, women must be respected. No matter what it is, you have to know how to respect a woman, and the woman intends to respect the husband in Jesus' name. We appreciate God for what God has done today, for the blessings, for the world that we experience today. I really appreciate God for the mercy that God has shown us for His blessing. And I believe that today is our testimony. No more limits, no more boundaries. We give all the glory. Hallelujah. I really enjoyed the ministry today because it was so handsome. It's so marvelous. As in the grace I received today, it was like never before because I was like thinking of uh, lose my hope in my life. But by the grace of God for today's service, at least God will restore all my sorrow, my tears because I was in pain. Right now, even now, my daughter is not in school, but I believe that by the grace of God, God will give me that money, favor me, bless me through this grace. I will do something in my God, and I'm ready to serve my God with all my heart. Amen. I'll be blessed, and in fact, today has been awesome in His presence. I was really blessed. I was really blessed. God has used those men of God to bless our lives today, all the way from Canada. We are grateful to God for the success of the program. I thank God for the life of the ministers, including you, that is that is watching, that is talking to me right now. I love the way you, you preach. I love the, love the way you present uh, your 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 word. And it's, as in, it, it, I don't know how to just put it. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you for the life of our Papa, your Papa over there in Canada. I really thank God for bringing you all the way from Canada to Nigeria. I was extremely blessed by the world. I learned a lot today about the family and how to build your home. I was extremely blessed and I'm going home with something great today. I was extremely blessed. Humility is key. Listening to the Holy Spirit is very, very important to have a godly home and a, uh, a Christian family. You need to learn how to say sorry, how to love each other. God said it's the love. So we need to love ourselves. Love is our wife is not just love is not just enough. You have to seek for God's guidance. You have to you have to always pray together. You have to always um, do things to, and be open to each other. And I think with that, I've learned a lot, and I'll be going home being a good husband to my wife. I guess that is at least for now, I would say, God should help me and to, to continue loving my wife and to, to be a good husband to my wife. The, the, the one that triggered me more was when Papa started giving us money, like as a seed for us to, to, to be elevated. So God sent me to you. So this seed must prosper. Amen. As it enters your heart. Amen. Because
us, you know what? Jesus said, bring me bread. What? I, he didn't ble- After blessing heaven, amen, the Bible said he blessed the bread. You can bless the money. Offering can receive the voice of God. It's a messenger in your hand to go fetch your money for you. Hallelujah. So I'm sending this in your hand. You go and sow it. Amen. It's a seed to sow. And that was really awesome. That really touched me. And I know um, I'm so blessed. And I know from now and so I'll be going from one level of grace to another. My name is Daniel. I'm still young. I'm not married. I don't know anything about marriage. The word really touched me, actually. It's an encouraging word also. And with the prayers and the administration, with the prophecy, everything. It really touched me. I was really blessed, actually. I really felt the anointing. You know, with the love, you know, to share love, you know. Love is not just found in marriage, you know. We young people, adults growing up, we need to show love to everyone around us, both our neighbors, friends, relatives. So I'm really blessed by the world. Service was powerful, was lovely, everywhere was filled with the Spirit of God. Yeah, the prayer was so powerful. I received the, the Holy Spirit today, yeah, I feel the Holy Spirit in me today. Yeah, then the service was so, so wonderful. It was so, so lovely. It, was, it, was, it went smoothly, nothing happened. I'm raining for since a Monday, I guess, since a Monday rain was falling, but today, raining for today's service was so nice, beautiful. To bless the ministry and we continue to expand and continue to flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. And of course, the next one, glory. Thank you very much. The Lord of God continue to impart in you and uh, grant you, you know, more grace, more grace, more grace to do exploits in the house of God in Jesus' name. I really love the program and God will continue to bless those who put the program down in Jesus' name. Uh, I really appreciate God. That this program came to our church here and it's really nice and i thank god we met with the papa and everybody and i really appreciate the um, davis family that came to our church today you know it really touched me you know, you know i was really amazed and our church here in nigeria cfn would love to see you guys again and again I love you guys. You guys are so wonderful. I wish to see you guys again in CFN Nigeria. Over a year ago, I saw you in a dream, in a vision like this. Thank I was God. thinking, is it when I will come to Canada that I saw you praying for us? I'm praying and prophesying. But when you started preaching and you started ministering, I re- Holy Ghost quickened it to my heart. And I remember everything. What I saw in the vision. I saw you, you were ministering to us, and you actually prayed for me in that dream. I was one of those, you prayed for me, you know, in that dream. And I told my wife, and I, then my wife remember now, that was why I told you, I said this is exactly what I saw about a year ago. So when you are saying we should come, I said I will be number one. You are really number one in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is done. Jesus, 